Hello, my name is Mike Jones and I'm the Medical Director for Training and Development at the Federation of Royal Colleges of Physicians. As most of you will know who are watching this video, the curricula for medical specialties has changed over the last couple of years with changes to high level outcomes compared to the multiple competences that were previously described. In doing this change, we believed it would be easier for educational supervisors to assess how trainees are progressing. But we've also been notified that some of the experiences that we expect people to get, namely the capabilities in practice, are more difficult potentially if you're looking at the generic capabilities in practice. This video, therefore, is to try and give some guidance about how these can be shared with the trainee and how experience may be gained. First of all, it is important that the trainer and trainee develop a good relationship. And that starts right at the beginning of the attachment by having a meeting with the trainee where the aims for the year will be described. The generic capabilities in practice are most easily evidenced using the multiple source feedback and the multiple consultant review. Because when we're looking at the generic capabilities, we know that experience within the workplace will often provide necessary experience and the consultants who are working with the trainee will be able to comment on their abilities in these areas. Having met initially with the trainee, it is important to monitor their progression. And that can only be done by regular meetings to see how well they're doing in acquiring evidence relevant to the generic capabilities in practice. It will also help to forestall any problems that the trainee might be having. Towards the end of the attachment it is important the educational supervisor reviews the MSF and ensures that commentary that is coming back through the MSF includes relevant information as regards the generic capabilities. But the most important part is that the multiple consultant reports also have an adequate commentary on the trainee's progression within the generic capabilities and if these are not present, then the educational supervisor seeks out those that have provided multiple consultant reports and asks for specific information. In summary, therefore, the most important parts of this are making sure that there is an adequacy of communication between trainer and trainee, starting at the beginning of the attachment and subsequently with multiple meetings between the trainer and trainee. Reviewing the MSF, reviewing the MCRs is very important for the educational supervisor to be able to write a coherent educational supervisor's report. The best system that we're aware of for people to get a complete analysis and assessment of how well trainees are progressing are to have faculty meetings between those that are providing educational supervision and those that are play, uh, providing clinical supervision for each trainee. This we will be encouraging in time to come, but at the present time, we would encourage people to ensure that, that the generic capabilities in practice are being adequately recorded and that trainees are aware of the importance of showing progression through these. Thank you for your attention.